Greetings all. Uh, I've come a wandering there from the gate. You can see the gate all along the path. Right there somewhere I found my first uh, coin target for the day. 19 uh, something 1970 post 71 uh, Irish decimal one penny. You've seen enough of them. I don't need to show you. So I come walking along over there. I took out a bit of tat, uh, actually a bit of scat came out earlier on too, but the point of the matter is I found a quite a jumpy strange signal here and uh, I've done it uh, thinking this could be uh, copper nickel, copper nickel, but it wasn't. It's a very f strange uh, find that I have here, not strange as in the case it's a 1931 uh, Irish first generation, Irish free state first generation coin. But look what, it's a hen and chickens, but look what they've, whoever did this has chopped it up with, it looks like symmetrical, uh, were they going to try and make a pieces of ten with this? There you go, there's the hen and chickens. Um, it's strange and funny finds you find below the surface, don't you? But strong 75, 76s. Uh, there we go, 1937 again. So that is, let me see, let me see, 1937 will be last year of George V. Let me see, am I right? Or is it first year of George the Sixth? George. George, tell me. So there we have it, another Britannia popped out here. Uh, there in the shade of the little trees over there, which is about 15 meters away, 20 meters away. That's where I found that in. And Chicken's Penny, 1931. So we're in older ground again. So let's hope, above hope, no, let's trust that we're going to strike the solvers shortly. There we go again. Strong 76s again. And let's see what year it is. Another 1937. I kid you not. And there we can see George a little bit clearer. George of the moustaches, I think. But th there was another signal ringing in between here. And listen to the pinpoint that tells me there's something else lying there. So we're going to have to find out what that is quickly. Because as I keep saying, we are fully in silver era. So let me see if I take this away from us for now if there's anything else in this uh, plug but well, I don't think so but let's see what's in there okay I'll get you back as soon as we know what's in there socket that's what it was in the same proximity it looks like a once upon a time a quarter inch drive socket and I can't see the numbers on it but it looks like about uh, 10 11 mil 10 or 11 mil there we go that's our second 1937 George the, that says George the 6th and not George the 5th. So I'm getting my stuff wrong here with George's. But that's George without the moustache. That's who that is. His uh, predecessor was George with the moustache. Okay, George the 5th had the big fat bushy moustache. So I'm getting myself totally confused here. I'll go and sort myself out when I get home and with these dates and different. You know what I say to that? Yes, boss. Just do as you are telling yourself, boss. Good boss. Bye, boss. Talk later, boss. Bye, boss. Yes, boss. Dig, boss. Yes, boss. We dig these too, believe it or not. That's a vintage one. So it's good to see it because that means old ground old full well oldish okay on we go i want to get into that corner there where the kids congregate they look like they flattened the grass nicely there so before they're all out of school i think i have about a half an hour to 45 minutes to go get himself myself in there but now you know uh, i'm gonna come back here and come back here and come back here until one day i have found more silver and depleted this soil, virgin soil for me that is. Right, boss, what do you tell yourself? Stop waffling.
start searching and get digging. Yes, boss. We shall do it. just that. I swung the detector. Yeah, we I taken the one P coin out, Irish one P, and lo and behold, there was another signal, and there it is. Look at that, two P, but it's a QE two two P. Let's see what year. If we can, 1986. Look, there's the date over there, 1986. There we go. Good day, ma'am. Lizzie, Lizzie the second. Good day. There you go. Uh, always worth checking the area again uh, after you've dug what you thought was in there. And there you have it. Uh, rain soaker uh, masquerading as a sun seeker. Fun and games. Our first euro coin for the day, or euro denomination coin for the day. Fortunately, it's lying on the surface because these 10 cent pieces can play play havoc with me and digging them out of plugs. Right, just to show you that we're on the board too with the spendables. It's been a while since I found that uh, rain soaker masquerading as a sun seeker. I found loads and loads of scat. I've just about uh, half a meter behind from where this plug is. I uh, found two 50 cent, euro cent coins. I wasn't going to show you them. You've seen many of them, but yes, a 20p popped out. These are relatively new coins in uh, age-wise. That's 86. They were only started minting around then. So I was just wandering around here looking for interesting targets. I can't even remember what this one rang at. Uh, in the 50s, I think. 40s, 50s. Look there. There's a bling bracelet. Looks very nice, shiny on the back side by the looks. So that's the back side, yes, because if you look at the in the sunlight, you got it. I'm gonna twist it just enough for you to see it in the sunlight. Nice colours, but I pre presume it's all just bling, enameled bling. Look at it. There we go. Those little yellow dots seem to have been stuck in the center there there you can see so there you go we found some bling today bling bracelet if not why not that was very very easy i'm in transit look the detector is folded up so that i can get past the little play park here and the sun glinted on that one another one masquerading as a as a sun seeker look there's even an old cruddy one cent euro coin so there we go there i've doubled probably doubled my my fines for the day in euro value with just that one lucky sighting just as well it was my time to go walking past you wasn't you wouldn't you say charming i'm across the road yeah uh, towards the spot where i was heading to come and uh, retrieve some more or rectify some more coin pollution and I think I've just struck gold yes look at that I've just struck gold a whole gold two euro look at it there it is gold two euro with a big fat eagle on the other side look at that thing massive hey eh? Imagine if that was gold. Just imagine if that was a real gold to you. Okay, I want to stop looking scat and collect this guy in the scat up. Right, folks. I think it's time for a bit of a wrap up. Tiny, the dinosaur, uh, found from yesterday. He came with me today. It's my good luck charm. So there we had it. Have it. This was a polished and lid, rang 90s, rang strong 90s, I thought, okay, I'll eat the jackpot, but it wasn't, there's just some of the scat, this looks like it was the salt cellar of sorts, I told you I found what looked like a, a, a head gasket, there's the little brass uh, ring, and there's the plating and the gasket material. Uh, electrical junction box. I'm just going to throw them all into the, into the scat bucket as we go along. Uh, you know what that is. There's a blue vodka, a white vodka, more brassy bits, 
day let's get back at ten there's more tops that was our first signal for the day i didn't show you but it's a bit of brass uh, there's with glass there's a bit of lighter uh, wing nut of sorts bit of uh, brassy bit i don't know you tell me more brass there's a pull uh, beaver tail there's a socket all into the scat bucket okay and a bit of string that came out of the same hole as i think if i can remember correctly as what those that bracelet came out okay right we'll get rid of all of this uh, then i will do the good stuff around it and uh, then we can say thanks for watching and all those nice things. But let me first get um, our dinosaur, or you can stay there. We get our gold coin out the way, and then we can get the good stuff, good the, the treasure sack here out, and uh, show you the good stuff. Right, that's about six euro thirties worth of euro coins there. You you saw that one. And you saw that one. That was our first Euro denomination coin for the day. Uh, those two were uh, imitating sun trenches or sun seekers or whatever they called. I never can remember. Uh, but they, that one, these two coins uh, specifically, they are for Nathaniel. He found a Spanish coin the other day and was quite happy about it. So I mentioned in a comment that I find them pretty often. Here you go, there's a 10 and a 50. Uh, we are at 650s today. They ring usually strong 70s, depending if there's anything else in the hole with them. Three tens. Apart from that one, those two I had to do plug wrecking. I wasn't going to show you that. Most of the 50s were quite shallow. There's our bracelet. And then uh, we're bridging the gap here between old and new and decimal, uh, pre-decimal Irish, there we go, uh, decimal, these are decimals too, those three pennies and there's so four decimals Irish, one pre-decimal and then one decimal uh, Queen Elizabeth II. Looks like she's quite a young head there too still. And then of course our two, our cherry on the cake today uh, was our two 1937 George the Sixth pennies. I'll go and add vintage figures somewhere down the bottom here. So there's Diney uh, with his space peanut from yesterday. That was also in the treasure sacky. And there is Diney's food. A gold two euro uh, chocolate coin specially for him to devour. All right, so uh, I will say very little more apart from thanks for watching. As per always, stay safe, stay free, and be happy. Bye. This is the day for mangled coins by the looks of things. I've just carried on regardless while I wait for the good lady to come and collect me. And this has just come out. Look at the color on it. 1924. And it's quite well mangled. There's our friend George the Fourth. The Fifth. The George the Fifth, I think. Uh, I'll have to go and check. But that looks like a mustache he's got on him there, doesn't it? Okay. That was your ABF. F. 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 Thanks for watching. Bye.